All right, everybody, welcome to another edition of Toke Review. I'm King Tokes, your host, and tonight we have a very special treat, the Sticky Glue. And uh, this one's coming in at 25.59% THC and has a little bit of CBD at 0.13% CBD. Um, this particular one was grown by X Colo uh, in Oregon and sold by Swedco. That's S W E D Co. That stands for Smoke Weed Every Day. And uh, tested by Reference Labs, harvested on 113 2022, and tested on 210 2022. Uh, so once again, this is uh, my first high of the day. I like to give a nice, uh, clean, sober review to make sure I give you the best feedback possible on the strain. Uh, a little background on myself. I'm a medical marijuana patient. I've been smoking for over 30 years. I suffer from muscle spasms in my back and neck due to a car accident, and I find the herb really helps out with that a lot. So uh, yeah, this particular sticky glue um, is a cross between the Chem Sister chocolate diesel and sour dub so it's got a lot of nice little strains in there and uh, during this review we're going to go over the uh, looks smell taste inhale exhale effects is it instant is it a creeper is it one hit shit is it a good value so i'm going to cover all those things and more in tonight's episode um, let's go ahead and start off by taking a rip of this, and then I'm going to go ahead and read you some information on the strains. Uh, this particular batch is actually really nice looking. Got this really fat nug here. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Yeah. Really nice. Doesn't have a lot of color contrast, but it is just drenched in crystals to the point where it's pretty much covering up everything else so real nice real nice bud structure dense buds just uh covered in crystals it's got a nice smell to it. it's a little chemi earthy little og-ish and if you squeeze it just right you get some nice chocolatey in there as well so very very nice strain for sure definitely looking forward to testing this one out mm. all right well let's go ahead and take the first bong hit here let's see how that one layers in make sure to pack just the right amount that's the key here with packing bong loads you know i don't want to overdo it for sure otherwise you just end up not really getting that full flavor, not really getting that enjoyment out of the bong hit. Mmm, yeah, it's got a nice little chemminess to it, little OG, and with a chocolate overtone. So this one has a really nice, really nice uh, smell to it, sticky glue. All right, let's go ahead and take this first bong hit. <clears throat> pretty smooth for the most part um not a whole lot of flavor in this particular one um you know it was harvested january 13th so it is uh, you know seven months old <clears throat> should still have a little more flavor to it um you know after a little bit of time getting a little flavor here um, so there might be a little bit of a lingering flavor that kicks in slightly afterwards. Um, a little earthy. It's got a little bit of that chemminess taste to it, actually. So that's interesting. Not much flavor right off the bat, but as a little time went on, exhaling, I can actually taste a little something there. So very interesting. Uh, so far, I would say it definitely came in nice right over the top, a little bit of a cerebral, 
and uh, does seem to be creeping into a little bit of a body high too. So uh, pretty cool. Yeah, let's go ahead and read some information about this strain. I'm going to break down uh, not only the information about the strain, but I'm going to go into what it's made out of as well so we can get a little bit more of a better overview of this particular strain. Okay, hybrid strain. Uh, we got the sticky glue is a hybrid strain delivering a heavy-handed euphoria and relaxation. Parent strains are chem sister, Sourdub and chocolate diesel. The laid back effects curb stress, depression, and pain. Mm. Yeah, so interesting makeup there on the uh, sticky glue. Let's go ahead and dive into some of the uh, parent strains here. So we're going to look at the Chem Sister. Chem Sister, also known as Chem Sis, is a sativa dominant variation of the classic Chem Dog strain. This phenotype first emerged in 1996 and has since evolved into the uplifting, long-lasting sativa we see on the market today. Her strong cerebral effects come coupled with a dis distant, skunky diesel aroma underscored by accents of sweet sandalwood and citrus. Over the course of her ma maturation, Chemsis Kim Sis's mint green buds burst with white hairs that darken with age. So it sounds pretty good. A sativa there. So now the chocolate diesel is a sativa cannabis strain that brings together genetics from the original sour diesel and chocolate tie. With soaring euphoria that shoots straight to the head, chocolate diesel could easily be compared to a cup of coffee. Its flavors offer a little part of both parents with notes of both earthy chocolate and skunky diesel. So, yeah, I remember back in the day when the uh, chocolate tie was all the rave and it was, you know, can you find the chocolate tie? Is it a real chocolate tie? You know, all those good questions, you know, because, uh, you know, back in the day before legal marijuana and, and medical cannabis and everything, it was a lot of the time. People would say stuff, but you had nothing to go on to know if they were actually telling you the truth or what, you know. So you try to smell it. Does it smell like chocolate? Hmm, if it smelled like chocolate, then I guess it's a chocolate tie. So, I mean, that's that's the only way you could really know. Yeah, so that's the chocolate tie. Now, that is crossed with the sour dub. So sour dub, also known as sour double, sour dub dog, and sour double, is a hybrid marijuana strain and a mysterious clone-only strain of unknown heritage. Sour Double is thought to be a cross of East Coast Sour Diesel and Sour Bubble. The BOG seeds, BOG seeds recreated Sour Double using Res Dog's Sour Diesel, IBL, instead of the ECSD, uh, East Coast Sour Diesel. And the results are very similar. If more indica-like than the original sativa dominant hybrid, dense buds with copious amounts of trichomes produce a pungent, sweet and sour odor and a strong diesel flavor with a sweet, fruity aftertaste. The high of sour double is a nice blend of head and body effects. Yeah, so, you know, overall, sticky glue is pretty sativa-leaning as far as the hybrid goes, but so it's got two sativas in there. And then it's got a hybrid, essentially, that was recreated using uh, more indica-like than the original sativa dominant. So, you know, it's kind of one of those strains where um, it's hard to really know. You know, did they cross this one originally with the original sour dub? Or did they cross this one with the newly created sour dub that has more of an indica-like than the original sativa dominant? So... You know, that's what we're going to find out tonight, I guess. Um, so far, I would say that it is pretty energetic, though. And, uh, you know, we've been creeping in here for about five, six minutes or so. So I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is pause this, and then I can come back, and I can give you guys a good breakdown on uh, whether or not it's one hit shit or not. Right now, it is creeping in pretty nice, uh, definitely a nice, strong cerebral, and I would say that it also gives you a bit of a body high, too. And we'll see how far that body high comes in over the next 5, 10 minutes, and I'll be right back. 
All right, I'm back, and I waited about 10 minutes there, and I do have to say that it did increase in strength a little bit. Um, it's still pretty functional. I wouldn't say that it crept in too much heavier during those 10 minutes, so the, uh, the creep-in period is fairly quick on this one. Um, I would probably say even, you know, within 10 minutes, you're going to be at pretty much the full effect off that first hit anyways. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have to save the results on the one hit shit till the judge, the judgment time. But let's go ahead and move forward here on a second rip. Um, before I do, let's go ahead and take a look at this nug. And while we're at it, taking a look at this nug, if you get a chance, please uh, visit the sponsors at tokerpipes.com that's tokerpipes.com they got the best selection of glass pipes and all kinds of crazy looking pipes and crazy designer bongs and dab dab things and all that good stuff there uh, for you to check out uh, the other sponsors are nolosslottery.com Never lose your money playing the lottery again and earn 1% interest. And finally, our latest sponsor, moneypaying.com. The best opportunity ever. And uh, once again, that's moneypaying, I-N-G at the end, paying.com. And that's the best opportunity ever, moneypaying.com. So, yeah, and uh, tokereview.com also for all the great reviews, better pictures, full write-ups, breakdowns, and all that good stuff. So, yeah, let's go ahead and take the second rip here. I would say it's a nice-looking nug. Um, you know, this particular strain doesn't really have a lot of those contrasts in it, but it's definitely nice as far as looks go still because it's got lots of crystals, Good dense bud structure. Uh, this particular nug was really trimmed up tight. So still looks pretty good. Mmm. It's got some nice chemi, earthy, little bit of chocolatiness to it. So real nice, real nice little treat here. Sticky glue. Definitely feel a little more on the energetic side still, so I'm liking that a lot. A little more functional. Um, yeah, first hit sunk in pretty good, so let's go ahead and see where the second one takes us. Nice. Yeah, that's pretty good. Feel that coming in right over the top of my head and creeping into my body a little bit more. So, yeah, that second one, got a little bit better flavor. Um, yeah, it definitely doesn't jump out at you either, though. So, but a little chemminess to it. Uh not too much other than that, unfortunately. So, nonetheless, really great effects. Loving this second bong hit here. So, yeah, once again, we're talking about the sticky glue, and it's got a THC of 25.59% and 0.13 CBD. So, just creep it in there with a little bit of CBD. You know, lots of times the strains don't have any CBD at all, so it's nice to get a little balance there. Uh, one thing I've heard about CBD, and I haven't really tested out myself, is if you take the CBD while you also are smoking herb or ingesting it, however you ingest it, you know, if you're eating it or whatever, edibles, um, the CBD will help balance it out, uh, help neutralize, actually, some of the THC effects, believe it or not. 
So uh, something to test out, something to try. I think I'm going to try that a little bit myself. I've not really experimented too much with CBD. Um, for me personally, it just didn't really seem to be what I was looking for. But at the same time, I think I was pretty inexperienced with the knowledge about the CBD and how to properly use it, really. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe experiment a little bit more with CBD in conjunction and see how that also affects my pain, my muscle spasms, and all that stuff. So, yeah, second one uh, creeped in pretty good. Um, pretty instantaneous, really. Um, nice, clean effects. I do like that. So I really don't think I need to wait too long for the third bong hit. I'm thinking on this one, you know, we could probably just move forward and uh, take that third rip. So, yeah. I do like the chocolatiness of this one. Um, you know, there's not a whole lot of strains that give you that nice chocolatey smell. And this one, you can get that a little bit if you squeeze it just right. And yeah, yeah. Got a little chocolatey to it. A little earthiness, a little cami, a little OG. But, you know, when you're smelling it just on that outer layer, it's more like a chemi type smell. And then once you break it open and squeeze it, that's how you get a little bit of that chocolatey. Layer this one in real nice. Buds seem to break up real good. Pack it in there. Nice and fluffy. So... Interesting strain for sure. This is my first time smoking the sticky glue. And I'd say that uh, it's a good one. I do like it. I like the fact that it's a little more energetic. Um, mostly, well, I would say that it leans to the cerebral side. Anyways, it does have body high as well. So, nice. Good all-round effects. All right. King Tokes take three. Here we go. Final bong hit. I would say that the second one is coming pretty strong. And this third one is probably going to kick me right over the top. So, here we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's coming in strong, man. Let me tell you. Yeah, the third one definitely kicks it into a whole nother level for sure. So that's like super stone. And, uh, you know, so once again, this is one of those ones where you can really choose your level. You know, first rip gets you where it's really functional still, pretty clear-headed, uh, you know. And you can stop there if you really want to be able to do stuff. Second rip, it's kind of like, you know, a little more relaxed. And, you know, you just want to chill and uh, have a good time. Third rip is like you just don't want to go for the full experience. You know, you want the heavy effects. You want to be able to feel really baked and blazed. So, yeah, good stuff. I like it. Sticky glue. Once again, that's a 25.59% THC, 0.13 CBD, grown by X Colo, sold by Swedco in Oregon, and tested by Reference Labs. 
uh, harvested on 1-13-2022 and tested 2-10-2022. So let's go ahead and do the breakdown here on the judgment. All my uh, scores are out of five, being the top. So, yeah, let's check it out. The looks. So, yeah, the looks on this one, you know, doesn't really have a lot of contrast to it. Um, it does have a lot of crystals and really nice dense bud structure, tight trim job. So it does have certain qualities that put it up there a little higher still. You know, it's not going to be top top because it doesn't have some of those colors and everything and the fresh crystals and all that good stuff. But. I'm thinking this one's going to have to come in uh, 4.5. A little generous there probably, but nonetheless, it is a tight bud and a tight bud structure, good crystals. So the smell, it does have a really cool smell. You know, it does smell chemi on the outside. And once you break into it, you can get some even fuller OG type flavor and some chocolate. So, and I love chocolate, uh, didn't necessarily jump out at you, but at the same time it is there. So pretty good on the smell. I'd say 4.7 on the smell. For the taste, uh, did fall a little bit short. Unfortunately, it didn't really have a great taste, but it didn't have necessarily a bad taste. Um, so, you know, on some of the exhales, I got a little, you know, slight flavor there. Uh, maybe a little lingering flavor. Um, so, yeah. So, for the taste, uh, coming in above 4, but low 4.2. On the inhale, uh, the inhale is pretty good. A uh, little expando, but for the most part, pretty smooth. Yeah, so for the inhale, I think I'm going to have to rate that a little bit on the low side, but still nonetheless uh, above a 4, so at a 4.3. Now on the exhale, uh, that's also not too bad. Um, you know, on the exhale, there could be a little bit of flavor there uh, if you try to, to really look for it. But I would say 4.4 on the exhale. Um so that brings us to the effects. Now the effects were pretty good. Like I was saying before, you know, you can choose your level um, just by taking one hit. Let's say it is more energetic and functional. You know, you take two rips and you're definitely starting to get more blazed for sure. And, uh, you know, now you're in the zone of just want to chill a little bit more. And, you know, if you want to really go for that heavy, just want to chill on the couch and just be blazed, you know, take that third rip because it'll kick you up there for sure. So it gives you a little bit of idea on the effects. Uh, they're pretty good effects. So I would say 4.7 on the effects. Now, is it instant? Is it a creeper? I would say that it is pretty instant. Uh, so, but, you know, like most herbs, most herbs are going to be partially instant and a creeper this one is a pretty quick creeper so i would say yes but for 10 minutes now it leads us to the one hit shit question uh basically depending on where you want to get to really on this one um you know i would say probably for myself it's not one hit shit because normally I like to get to a certain level that's beyond just like, uh, you know, a mile high that might be a little more energetic that you can, you know, you want to get stuff done on more so. Because it's later in the evening for me, I'm usually partially done with my day, so I just want to chill more. So, <clears throat> one hit shit on this stuff, I would say no. And for the value, um, yeah, so for the value on this one... Let's see, this was an ace for 34. So that's a pretty decent value. I would say that, uh, you know, it has nice dense buds. It ticks a lot of the boxes. Um, it's not a super value nonetheless. You know, coming at $34 from uh, Swedco in Oregon. 
Um, so I would say for the value, I'm going to go ahead and rate that little bit on the low side for 4.2. And that's just because didn't quite have some of the flavor and taste that I would like. It wasn't quite as uh, fresh, I guess. That's the, that's the point. So even though it's only seven months old, it still wasn't quite, didn't quite have that, uh, those qualities to it. So, all right. So that about wraps it up for the sticky glue. Uh, once again, uh, check out tokereview.com for all the uh, other shows and great reviews. And until next time, I'm King Tokes, your host, and uh, stay groovy.